Jeff Kelderman here, Kelderman Air Suspensions. What we're talking about today is the sensor placement on the Kelderman Hadley SAMS four corner kit. What we're doing now is looking at the front sensor setup on a Dodge five to six inch kit. Eight to 10 is gonna be the same, same setup um, on as far as how the sensor mounts. We will provide you with this weld on bracket that goes on the inside of the frame. What we're doing is trying to get this lever pretty much straight out at ride height. This particular truck runs a 5323 airbag. We've got it set at eight and a half inches tall. We've measured in between the brackets here. Eight and a half inches tall is ride height. When you're setting this up, you're gonna to wanna to use a jack to get underneath the frame and get your ride height on this truck. Cause you're not gonna have your air control set up probably yet as we're doing the sensor placement. So what we've done is we've welded this bracket on here. We've got it straight up and down and we've got our bar uh, our, 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 our lever coming straight out, coming down, drilled and tapped the ball into the trailing arm. We have adjusted the linkage. They're real easy to do. If you're, we send the linkage, it's typically are gonna be a little bit long. You just simply unscrew this, cut it off with a sawzall or a chop saw or whatever. This is just airline, just covering it up so that you don't see the threads. You put her back together. So. What we want to do is make sure at ride height, before we go setting all of our uh, programming points, that that sensor is straight up and down here. Bar's coming straight out at ride height. That's going to give us the sweep we need. These sensors that we use have a wide range of sweep, so we don't need to have them real close to the pivot point. They can go halfway or a little bit forward like this one. This particular truck, we've got it about 70% toward the front. We got a lot of sweep. It's gonna work really well in that position. What we've got here is the sensor placement on the rear of a 3500 Dodge, five to six inch lift. We've got our two bolts straight up and down with our, our main body. We're straight out at ride height. This one here is connected to the top trailing arm. It could go to the bottom trailing arm. It's not gonna make any difference. But the key is we're at ride height. We're straight out, straight up and down. We're in the middle of the installation on this one. We've already got it drilled and tapped in the side of the frame with the bolt straight up and down. The next step, what we will be doing is we'll be determining the ride height on this vehicle, which is gonna be the 5323 airbag. We're gonna be in that eight and a half, nine inch range. If it's gonna be an 8979, we're gonna be in that 12 to 13 inch range. We will jack up the frame, get this thing at ride height, which is gonna put our trailing arms at the right angles. Then we will set our bar straight out we will cut our linkage to get it straight, okay? To, so that this bar straight out, we'll set our linkage right here. That's gonna give us the sensor kind of a neutral reading at ride height. When we let the air out, it's gonna get us to travel up. When we're back at ride height, going through the bumps as we get our expansion, compression, going back and forth, that's gonna get us um, the measurements and the signals that the ECU is gonna need to keep this thing at ride height. <laughs> 